And the most important thing, I believe, is you have to plan and get systems in place, and you have to be able to adjust. And because it happens, it, no, it, no matter what you do in business, I, I don't. I have yet to know of a business that goes down the original course. I mean, as long as you stay focused on your goal and are able to adjust and avoid obstacles, and and persevere. I, I um, there's a, <clears throat> I, I read something the other day, and it, it, it said, persistent knocking opens doors successfully. I love that. Yeah, that's great. So, Very good. So now, now, speaking of business, tell us about Kid Command. What, what is Kid Command and, and how did it come about? What's the purpose of it? What's your passion? I know you mentioned passion, mm -hmm. and I know you're both very passionate about Kid Command. So, so let's hear what you have to say about your business and your venture. Well, <clears throat> I guess Vishal and I are very passionate about designing and building and making a product that is it's safe for kids. It's good for kids. There's wholesome material in there. There's fun content in there. Um, <clears throat> you know, we don't try to tell kids, oh, this is, this is right, this is wrong. Um, we don't have games chock full of materialism and where they're playing games to earn money to buy something. Um, we have simple games that kids play um, and this is this I know this is probably a, a concept that is just a terrible concept But they play games to earn stuff to earn to earn maybe a shirt or earn climbing shoes to make it through another Region we're very passionate about teaching kids about um, Our earth and, and what's going on and we're not saying Clear cuttings bad because you know we need paper yeah. But we put the we put the material out there in a way that hey This is what's happening play these games and learn about it and make up your own minds yeah. Great. And I think that our vision, um, everybody in our company has aligned themselves with that vision of, of making the internet a, a better place for kids and a fun place. Yeah. You know, most people in our company, they're either parents or expecting to be parents. And so I think we have a, a genuine interest in making this great product for kids and making it safe for kids. Mm -hmm. and I, you know, I think we all wholeheartedly believe it. it's not just something we say we're doing and we actually believe in it. And on that subject, Vishal is an expecting parent. Yeah. So we're excited about that. We'll yeah. be awaiting that news. And that I think is cool. That, that is super cool. And I think it's just great that so many of you are committed to mm -hmm. really making something a positive business that mm -hmm. really influences our society in a very positive way. Mm -hmm. um, I think more entrepreneurs need to think about that and really incorporate those philosophies into their businesses as well. Mm -hmm. Really, it's very helpful. And I've known Vishal, and it's been great to yeah. meet you, Khan. Um, it's really exciting to think about Kid Command and what you're growing and doing. Uh, are there any last thoughts or, or ideas you'd like to share with the audience and, and kind of words of wisdom that you would like to share with them before we sign off? What about you, Vishal? Well, um, I guess all I would say is, um, well, one of the things that you know I think we learned in this whole process is that, um, you know the old saying where you, um, if you want to do something right, you you have to do it yourself. And one of the things that we did early on was you know, we tried to kind of, um, we did some things ourselves, but then we tried to subcontract things out to others. Yeah, sure. And that worked to, you know, to a certain degree, but I think what we found in the long run is that we're able to do it better if we just maybe hire people ourselves and then do it in-house and get that expertise in-house because we can really have a more, um, we can get our hands dirty in there and, and you know, we can, get more involved in that process. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something we really learned. <coughs> yeah, that's, that's an important point. lesson for us. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend that to others also who are gonna be doing you know, whatever their entrepreneurial project is. Mm -hmm. um, really try to take a central role in it and really um, try to get more of those things in-house rather than trying to subcontract out as much as possible. And, I, and I, I think too, one thing we've learned is, you know a lot of people when, when they come up with an idea or something, and they kind of worry about how it'll be perceived or worry about how people will even perceive them. Um, you hear about a lot of people, oh boy, man, people are gonna think I'm crazy for trying this. You know, the thing is, who cares what someone thinks of you, right? I mean, the reality of it is, they're probably jealous that you got the cojones to try it. <laughs> That's probably and, true, and, yeah. And reality is, yeah. it doesn't matter if we had a line in this carpet and once we step up to the line, it doesn't matter what is behind us. It matters what are our choices and how are they going to affect us as we move down. And that's, 
I think that's the, the key thing with us is we all know what our vision is. And uh, we, we have, I think we've done such a great job, our company, um, our team, like I said, I honestly believe that with the team of people we have, any one of us could be gone for a day, the system still work, and literally we could walk in tomorrow and say, hey, look, we want to start an apple orchard and, and uh, compete with Kim, but we've got the team, they'll do it. You know, careful. Yeah, right? No, but if we want to sell hot dogs, for instance, right, we couldn't compete with Kim. With this place that. But I'm saying we, we've got the team, and, and they've got the desire and the work together, and we've got, I think that's the biggest thing is that you can't do it alone. You, you know, I, um, I, I heard a man speak one time, and uh, he, he said that your network is your net worth. I believe in it. Use your network. Use it to its fullest extent and, and pick their brains, learn, and then make decisions after learning. You can't say, oh, man, I wish I'd have done that and dwell on it. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. That's yeah, the bottom you know, I'm line. I'm going to have to use some of this in my future program. These are good, good little nuggets. So, quotes well, by Colin Kamisa. Yeah, right. Well, it's, it, the, the, the fact of the matter is it's tried and true. I mean, it's... Um, is Kid Command going to be the world's biggest success? Maybe, maybe not. But that's not important. It's what we learn from it and move forward and how we adjust. That's kind of what we found with I2E as well. It, it's something that we haven't really tried in this area before, and it was sort of to the point of we need to do something different to grow our economy, and who cares if it doesn't work? We need to learn from it if it doesn't and keep moving forward. Right. It's very important to just try something new, try something different. And stay true to your values. And, and if, if you say you're going to educate people, educate people. You know, and, and I don't know, nobody's, <clears throat> I, I, nobody, I don't think we're out there to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. We just, we saw a need, and uh, like everybody else, you always think, oh, somebody should do this, or they ought to. Well, <laughs> he's the they, and I'm the someone. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> now, where can, where can people find you in that virtual space? www.kidcommand.com. Mm -hmm. All right, that's kidcommand.com. And this is Dr. Connie signing off of another one of our I2E videos. We'd like to thank the Rural Development Commission for their BECA funding making these I2E videos possible. Please check out i2eclub.org for additional videos and educational information designed to help you succeed. Thank you.